Hello dear students, welcome to ECE Academy Benefactor. In this class we will be seeing hazard free realization of a boolean function. The subject name is digital electronics. In this class we will be solving three problems for boolean function using logic gates for hazard free. Let us start the first problem. Realize the boolean function t x y z is equal to summation 1 3 4 5 using logic gates for hazard free. Okay. So, it is a 3 variable k map first draw the 3 variable k map the function you have written and now you know the cell number the cell number uh, this is x y z x means 0 1 y z means 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1. Based on this, you know the cell number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, we after numbering the cells, we need to fill this number 1, 1, 3, 4, 5. So, 1, 3, 4, 5 are filled with 1 in the K map. Now, we need to circle. So, we have circled this group and made the pair as 1. And this is a second circle. Okay. So, this is one pair and to make it hazard free we need to do overlapping. So, in general what we do this is one, one pair and this one is the other pair, but to make it hazard free we need to overlap these two also. Okay. So, now we are having three terms for this term it is x bar y for this term it is x bar z x bar z and for this term it is y bar z and for this term it is x in this two what is common 0 what is 0 y bar. So, x y bar x y bar. So, we got the boolean expression. Now, we need to draw its logic circuit. So, we have taken x not gate what we will get here x bar x bar y y bar z z bar. Okay. So, we need to get x bar z. So, take x bar and then z need to give to an end gate to get what here x bar z. Next term is y bar z, y bar. So, darken this point or else it will not be clear to which line you have connected y bar z. This is z. So, you have taken. If you darken here, it means it this line is connected to z, not to z bar. So, what is the product term we are getting here? y bar z. Another term is x, x and y bar. It is x, y bar. Now, we need to give all these three terms to OR gate. To get the function t. So, what is the circuit name? It is hazard free circuit. Why it is hazard free? Because we have done one overlapping. Let us see the next problem. Re the second problem is realize the function t x y z is equal to summation 2 3 5 7 using hazard free realization. The same process first we need to simplify the three variable k map get the boolean expression and draw its logic circuit. So, the function t is given as t x y z is equal to summation 2 3 5 and 7. Okay. So, first draw the three variable k map. This is x y z x 0 1 
y z 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 the cell numbers are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7. Now, we need to fill this numbers of 2 is 1 3 5 and 7. Okay. So, generally how do we do this uh, pairing here? First pair is this one for this pair what is the name this is a common row is x 0 0 means x bar and in these two columns one is common what is one y so it is x bar y and this is another pair for this pair it is x and for these two columns one is common that is z okay so to make it hazard free we need to overlap these two ones so this is a third pair so, its name is y z. So, what is the expression we got here? T is equal to x bar y plus y z plus x z. So, let us now draw the diagram for it x this is x bar let me change the pen this is x by connecting it to not gate we will get x bar y y bar z and z bar ok. So, first term is x bar y. So, darken this point x bar y give it to an end gate to get the term x bar y. The second term is y z y z give it to an end gate to get y z next term is x z. So, connect to this point x and this is z. So, we will get the term x z all the three terms are odd. So, give it to an odd gate. To get the expression t. So, this is a hazard free circuit logic circuit ok. So, we are having three pairs for making it hazard free. Let us switch over to the third problem. Let us start the third problem and its solution. The given problem is give hazard free realization for the Boolean function f a b c d summation 0 to 6 7 8 10 12. Let us start the solution. So, what is the first step? We need to write the Boolean function f a b c d is equal to summation 0, 2, 6, 7, 8, 10 and 12. Then it requires 4 variable k map for solving the function. So, we have drawn the 4 variable k map. The it is having the variables a b on this side and c d on this side a b 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 the cell numbering is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 ok. Now, fill these numbers into the k map 0, 0 is 1, 0, 2, 6, 7, 8, 10 and 12 ok. Now, we have to do the grouping. Let us start the grouping. So, first the largest one is a quad. So, this the four corner ones are making one quad. What is the name of this quad? So, this two rows in these two rows what is common 0 that is 0 is b bar and in these two columns what is common 0 is common 0 means a d bar. So, it is b bar d bar ok. Now, next one we can find one 
pair here. For this pair, it is coming to be as 0, 1. In these two columns, 1 is common. So, 0, 1 means A bar B and this is 1, 1 means C. Okay. So, here one more pair is possible. For this pair, in these two what is common? 1, 1 means A and this is C bar D bar. So, it is A C bar D bar. Okay. So, to make this circuit a hazard free, we need to overlap one product term. So, we can do this overlapping here. For this overlapping, we are getting the term. In this what is common? In these two rows, 0 is common. 0 means A bar. And in this column, it is 1 0. 1 0 means C D bar. C D bar. So, what is the function coming? Expression is A bar C D bar plus A bar B C plus B bar D bar plus A C bar D bar. Yes or no? A C D bar, A bar B C, B bar D bar plus A C bar D bar. Let us draw its logic circuit. So, we require four variables A, A bar, B, B bar, C, C bar, D, D bar. Okay. So, we have taken four input lines. So, first term is A bar C D bar. A bar, this is A bar. A bar C, this is C. C and D bar. So, here we are getting A bar C D bar. Okay, the next term here A bar B C. A bar this is B and this one is C. What is this one? A bar B C. Next term is B bar D bar, B bar D bar, B bar D bar. The next term is A, A, C bar D bar. A, C bar, D bar. This is A, this is C bar, and this is D bar. This is B bar, D bar. This is A bar, D and C. This one is A bar, C, D bar. And after this four end gates, we need to give them to OR gate. to get the function f. So, this is a hazard free realization of the given boolean function. So, what did we do? For first quad we made and then made two pairs and then we made this one overlapping pair to make it hazard free. I hope it is clear. The additional product term that is uh, A bar C D bar overlapping two groups for hazard free realization we have done.
So, group this one, this is already overlapping, this one is also overlapping. Okay, so, no need to do for additional uh, grouping there. The hazards exist because of the change of the input results in a different product terms covering two min terms or different sum terms covering two max terms. Okay. So, hazards can be eliminated by enclosing two min terms or max terms in the given problem. Okay. When the circuit moves from one product term to another or move from one sum term to another, there is a possibility of a momentary interval when neither term is equal to 1, giving rise to an undesirable zero output. So, we need to do overlapping of the terms to avoid hazards and make it hazard free realization. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.